Alright guys, Mr. G here with more Battletech, and today we're going to talk about how to actually get some lost tech in Battletech. It's that super rare Star League era stuff that's basically disappeared from the known universe, and it's super hard to get! Uh, one of the easier ways to get it is to go ahead and mod Battletech so that it is more likely to show up in systems that have a uh, former Star League presence. So we've got here, we've got ER Small Laser, 550,000. Oh my goodness, yeah, we're not going to buy that, but what I really do need to buy is right down here, which I've been looking for forever, and I couldn't find it. No matter how many times I went to rich manufacturing, research, inner sphere, Star League presence, planets didn't show up. Right here, gauze ammo. We're going to buy ourselves some of that because we've got an extra gauze cannon uh, laying around that we got from the raiding mission we did to get the Lost Tech and the priority missions where we picked up our Highlander. So... Looks like they have an unlimited amount of that here, which is, is really handy, so I'm going to pick up a few because it doesn't cost a lot. Now you're thinking, alright, how do I mod that into Battletech? Let's take a look at how to do that. You're going to want to head over to nexusmods.com. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description on the video so you can find exactly where to go. And the mod I'm using is called Star League Equipment in Relevant Shops. Um, there's two versions of this. Uh, we never had version 1, we went straight to version 2. Basically what this mod does is makes it a lot more likely that you're actually going to find lost tech weapons and a few tweaks to those weapons. But it's slightly tricky on how you're going to go ahead and install it. Uh, you're going to do, first of all, you're going to download the installer, which we're going to do now. So you're going to click on files and you're going to get a zip file there. So you're going to go ahead and manually download that. Once you're done doing that, you're going to extract uh, this file right here. So you're going to open it up. You're going to extract this mod folder right here. Good old WinZip. I'll put that in description if you know, you're know you under a rock and you've never used WinZip and you don't have it. You're going to move these mods to this folder here. So you're going to go Program Files 86, Steam. You're going to go to Steam Apps, Common. You're going to find Battletech, Battletech Data, Streaming Assets, and you're going to notice that I've already got the folder right there. So you're going to extract that folder right in there. But you're not done yet. You've got one more step. For this step, you're going to have to dive into one more folder. Same path here. Steam, Steam Max, Common, Battletech, Battletech Data, Streaming Assets. You're going to jump down to Data. And you're going to take a look at this folder, or this file right here. Version Manifest. You're going to want to open that with Notepad. You can do it with Notepad, but I highly recommend using notepad plus plus i'll put a link of that in the description as well and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding two sections of code they've given you the code right here so the first section of code or script or whatever you want to call it is right here you're going to add this at the end but before the final comma so we're going to scroll down Woo! notepad makes these things so much easier uh, and you're going to see that we've added this extra section here of items shop star league right here uh, on these lines 8120 through 8127 right here before the last comma and then we've got one final bit of, of script code whatever you want to call it that we're going to put at the very front so you're going to copy this bit and you're going to plug it in right up here so the right below line one so that line was in the original file you're going to plunk this line of code in right here so you've got you see it's modifying gauzes and lasers etc you're going to do that and you're going to save that um and then you're good to go but before you save over this file make sure you've made a backup copy uh of that file so that you don't mess it up permanently your version manifest pile just make a backup copy of that plug it somewhere else so that if you do screw it up you can just put that file back over there and you're good to go like this mod doesn't overwrite anything it's in its own mod folder so you don't have to worry about screwing anything up. If it doesn't work, just delete the mods folder and put your version manifest folder back to the way it was and you're all good to go. But now I finally have gauze ammo for my gauze rifles and I can go around to navigation and I can go to systems that have, like where we are now, uh, where is it? Former Star League presence, and if you wait, those have a you know a certain you know higher chance to spawn lost tech items than they did before. If you found this helpful, please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be working my way through this entire Battletech campaign. That's it for this one, guys. Mr. G out.